Okay, YouTube family, subscribers, friends, and the she for you. That I do a two in one. As for uh, it's my subscribers on my channel, whatnot. Uh, I ain't forgot about all the other stuff about you know V Crow, about uh Rapture and all that. So just thought I'd briefly bring that up. Been busy, so but definitely ain't forgot about y'all. So just. Bear with me on trying to catch up on chores. But anyways, getting to the she for you on Thug Appeal. Okay, let's talk about this Thug Appeal. Now, I like responding to videos like this. You know, as far as like issues in the black race and relationships or whatnot. Because by me being a, a representative and believer of Christ issues that concern love actually anybody any man or female that's you know supposed to have Christ in them any issue that concerns love they supposed to participate in it and trying to give solutions on how to resolve issues and how to fix things like this when it comes to thug appeal broken relationships brothers going out to the gangster image and so on so but uh this I guess I'm gonna start from the uh the thug appeal. Okay, where that comes from, why why young brothers uh go after the thug appeal? Alright, let me see, um let's see. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna start from there. High school. Usually in high school, between middle and high school a young teenager is trying to find themselves so they gonna switch from different characters different images you may see one minute I want to be a thug one minute I want to be a businessman I want to be a pimp I want to be a, you know the female same thing one minute I want to be a educated independent woman then I want to dress and try to be a video vixen and you know so in high school that's when uh, we pretty much trying to find ourselves and the young brothers in high school or young black males or I mean white you know whomever but I'm just speaking as far as with our black males in particular trying to embrace something that's masculine because if dad is not there of course they trying to figure out how to be a man they trying to show they trying to figure out what can they embrace to reveal that they are masculine so if by daddy not being there to set the example on what it is to be a man or what masculinity is and they just stand under mama when they look on they're going to try to find it some sort of source to draw from to show that they masculine so the one of the sources that a lot of men draw from is sports maybe that may be number one so a guy feel like okay if I play sports then that'll show I'm masculine I'm a man I'm tough so a lot of men go out to football or basketball if it's not sports to show that he masculine or tough then the young brother may you know watch BET MTV and embrace the thug image so just like uh just like you said you know in your video blog here that they showing a fantasy they not showing reality a brother seeing this you know 50 cent with his shirt off or AL Cool J and all you know shirt off and you know thug image big chain around the neck and all that and see a whole bunch of nice shaped attractive women dancing around a brother so he figured like hmm okay and then not only just going by what he see on television as far as you know the women dancing around him and the thug image but overhearing his peers at high school because that's where it really the origin of it begins high school now some people get weaned out of that mentality and they mature from it and they think back and I was being silly minded and all that and they let it go and some people actually still try to hold on and embrace that high school mentality and a lot of brothers you know embracing it 
because they feel like this is what reveals the masculine so listening to rap music makes me masculine I mean that's how some brothers think by me listening to rap music that makes me masculine by me playing a sport that makes me masculine but when it comes to embracing a nine to five they some of them feel like that makes me a square you know that's a square but actually just being a real man in a mind of a child and a teenager is fun and partying the child thinks about fun the teenager thinks about partying but a mind of a dope is responsibility and balance responsibility and balance so like I said a lot of brothers think that the nine to five and paying bills and you know trying to raise a family is too tough it's too hard it's too difficult so they'll rather embrace the thug image or go out to sports to show they masculine than work and try to be the foundation of a household you know instead of trying to be a foundation they'll rather try to they more for image so a lot of brothers more for image than for action they're a lot more for image because action requires effort requires sacrifice requires discipline and a lot of brothers don't want to give effort because they being lazy a lot of brothers don't have discipline because they out having babies left and right out partying getting high getting drunk and a lot of brothers of course don't have balance I mean discipline and sacrifice leads to balance if you don't have no discipline or not a sacrifice you have no balance so that's why a lot of brothers are wild and crazy and popping babies left and right club popping and all that and they ain't trying to embrace the responsibility of being a man because in their mentality they still a boy and they don't want to grow up I mean it's just reality so but yeah but high school is uh basically right there you know trying to find yourself find who you are and especially after high school that's when life really kicks in because now you got to determine if I'm gonna go to college or am I gonna work job it's kind of like the uh, boy game life it's kind of like the boy game life and that's where it really kick in the crossroads of which direction you finna go is at the high school some drop out and mess their life up early and some go all the way and graduate and probably go astray and mess their lives up but but yeah so this whole thug appeal thing and black women prefer thugs well it's cause as far as on it I spoke on this already like I said because of the images on the videos and they giving this sex appeal type image on videos you know you got Trey Songz and uh, Drake Lil Wayne and all these other uh, rappers or what not that a lot of young groupies young teenage groupies and some in the early 20s and maybe a few in the late 20s that's embracing this sex appeal through rap videos so that's where a lot of people get that uh, mentality that women a lot of black women only want thugs because they looking at a specific age group you can't determine all women want thugs from one age group you thinking of the young teenage groupies or like I said early 20s and maybe some late 20s that's fascinated with this sex appeal from rappers by them on videos they got the bodies wet with the chain with some crystal in their hand and all that so yeah but yeah I understand where you coming from Lashid I understand completely but I, I know the root of it because I've been studying and praying and meditating on it and as you can see got a whole lot of answers so uh just thought I'd respond to this as well and like I said it's my YouTube family of friends and subscribers I ain't forgot about y'all of course I got a lot more to share soon once I catch up on chores and everything but Lashie peace be on you and Christ for life